Okay, we've got linings in a box here, and we've got another lining here which is a shade too high. So we're going to cut a bit, bit off this. I'll show you how, you how you might actually do it. I've marked a line down the job there, and I'm going to saw this piece off with a tenon saw. And the way we do that is to take, this is essentially a, a rip saw. It's a very fine tooth, probably 15 tooth in every inch or TPI. Um, and it's meant to cut down the grain, which is that way. So the way we do it is your stance is quite important, how you, how you hold a saw, and you make way by standing side on, you wait, make way for your arm and the saw, and the, your arm should be a very straight line from your shoulder down through your elbow, through your hand, through the line of the saw plate. So put this, put your job just overhanging that stop there. Again, using this tool, which is a, um, a jig for hold, a holding jig. Put your job against the stop, hold it against it, just overhanging this, this edge here. And you need a light so you can see as the saw comes down, it puts that line slightly into shadow. So you need the light six. I'll put it over this way so that it's shining on the job here so you can see it in the camera. But, and then I want to stop. And I'm just going to start just about a millimeter or so away from my line. Now I do, I don't go for the line. I want to saw a millimeter away because a saw will leave something called a rag and the saw will leave this rag on the component so you want to just be away from the line by a little bit and then saw and it gives you a millimeter room to play with and then you just lightly holding that To blow okay I, I need that light just to see where I'm going I can't you can't see where you're going you're stuck you're gonna go somewhere you don't want to go so that's it. I need that light bench lights are really 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 important if you can't see your job I'll, I'll put it over that side yeah you can see them I need light for the camera and I, and I need, need, need light for my poor old eyes being an old maker I don't see as well as I used to. So I have to guess where I'm going half the time. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't guess. Blow, blow to get the dust out of the way so you see the line. Yeah, I can see that line. And it's just working along that line. Now, as it approaches the end of the cut, you just have to be careful and keep the saw against the job. Hold it up against the plate, the plate of the saw against the, against the job. Then you've, then you've severed that away. This is left with it. This little bit of rag is on there now. And we just take a plane and again, clear this with dust. And you, and you can use the plane just to, to plane back to that line. Now, very near it, you only take a few sh strokes of the plane to hit that line, and that'll fit in there nicely. Job done. Have a nice day.